The idea that nuclear war is unthinkable is a dangerous concept. There's just absolutely no way that civil society can hold, even with one nuclear missile. And that should scare the hell out of everyone. Five, four, three, two, one. Today, every inhabitant of this planet must contemplate the day when this planet may no longer be habitable. Atomic bombs, people think Hiroshima and Nagasaki, those were tiny. A thermonuclear bomb is a two-stage weapon. It is an atomic bomb inside a nuclear bomb. The atomic bomb is the fuse. It's so incredibly powerful. It's like if you set off 1,000 Hiroshima's at the same time in the same place. It only takes one of those to take out a city. And also the anarchy and the mayhem that is almost guaranteed to follow. After a nuclear war, there's, it's just a matter of self-survive. Hope that you have Pedialyte stuff. It seems like there's no hope for anything. In essence, five billion people will die. The people that die in the minutes and hours of the fireballs, the fallout, and then the nuclear winter. Because the temperature of the Earth will drop by 40 degrees Fahrenheit. There will be 330 billion pounds of soot lofted into the air. Places like Iowa and Ukraine will be sub-zero for seven years, every day of the year. And so then, that's the death of agriculture. Who survives? Who would want to survive? You'd have like this small group of people who would essentially become hunter-gatherers again. You'd have to be an advanced prepper with military training to be able to survive in a world without agriculture. The whole idea of not having a nuclear war is predicated on this idea of deterrence, which is just a theoretical phenomenon. So if that works, great, we won't have a nuclear war. But what if it doesn't work? What if one rogue missile gets launched? After this U.S. nuclear-armed ballistic submarine docked in the Korean Peninsula, North Korea's defense minister threatening possible nuclear retaliation. We have super sophisticated defense rockets, right? NORAD, that can shoot down missiles out of the sky. Which is pure fantasy. The U.S. arsenal is about 1,700 ready for launch, more or less, okay? And Russia has the same. China has 500 now. North Korea has maybe 50. People think, well, we have, you know, they imagine like Israel's Iron Dome. Our system is called the interceptor system, and it's run by the Missile Defense Agency. And they have a grand total of 44 interceptor missiles. And the success rate of those interceptor missiles is between 40 and 55 percent. And you don't start a nuclear war with a couple missiles. You send the mother love. I don't think anybody, by and large, is aware that we have a rule that as soon as missiles launch heading towards us, we have to empty our arsenal. It's use it or lose it. Once one is launched, it's They're the end game. Launched.